Hello, welcome. I wanted to solve this problem in another way, and this we'll call Trish's method because here um, we have a student's method for solving this. I think this is great. So let's get started. So first of all, Abby paints twice as fast as Beth and three times as fast as Kathy. If it takes them 60 minutes to paint a living room with all three working together, how long would it take Abby if she works alone? So um, what this student said was, all right, we got the numbers three and we've got two, and then just Abby's speed. So she's thinking, all right, well, let's represent each of these using the least common multiple of three and two, which is six. So here we have their rates. And she says six times x, let's call that Abby's rate. Abby's rate. So, I mean, really she could have chose any coefficient for Abby's rate, but 6 is a useful choice. I encourage you to try 12 or some other multiple of 6 to see that actually everything will then work out. As long as you set up their speeds proportionally, Abby's speed would be 6x, uh, and she's twice as fast as Beth, so Beth's speed is 3x, right? As long as it's proportional, it will work. So if you chose 12 for Abby, you would choose 6 for Beth, and you would be able to calculate everything from there. And then Kathy's rate is three times slower than Abby's rate, so it's 2x. So Kathy's rate is then just 2x. So we have their three their rates. Now, what this student then did was say, all right, well, I know distance equals rate times time. And she said, all right, we want to know what the time is. We want to set this up to, uh, well, she, she isolated t. She basically says, Time equals distance divided by rate. Now in this case, the distance that they're dealing with is one room. And the rate, when they work together, um, we know it takes them 60 minutes, sorry. So let me plug that in. And 60 minutes to complete one room. And then we have their combined rates. They're working together. So whatever their rates are, if we put them together, we know they can accomplish this task in 60 minutes. I'm just not writing that correctly, sorry. So it would be 6x plus 3x plus 2x. That's their combined rates. And that gives us 1 over 11x equals 60. Now here, if we solve for x, I'm going to solve up here. Multiply both sides by 11x, and we get 1 equals 660x. So x equals uh, 1 over 660, right? So this is a value that we're now working with in our equation. And we can figure out Abby's rate from it. Abby's rate is 6 times x. So it's going to be 6 times 1 over 660. And um, 6 goes into 660 uh, 110 times, I think. So it's 1 over 110. And this is Abby's rate. Now, if you think about what rate is, it's... Um, what is rate? Rate equals distance over time. So it's one room. She's completing one room, and it's taking 110 minutes. This is the time right here. So we've solved the problem. Abby would then take, to complete one room on her own, 110 minutes, which is one hour and 50 minutes. And I thought that technique was really cool, so I just wanted to share it. And I hope this helped. Thank you.